So we got a 2012 Nitro Z6. Boat and whenever you turn the steering wheel, as you can see, I don't know if you can see I'm turning. It's not really. It's turning, I go back the other way. So yeah, so you can see you have to turn a lot before it engages the motor. So we're thinking that the hydraulic steering has some air in it and needs to be bled. So you can see, I didn't even turn the motor. So we're gonna bleed the system, show you how to do it, and hopefully it makes it better. So a few parts that we need is this uh, filler tube, you can get it off of Amazon, and some Sea Star hydraulic steering fluid. And those will be linked in the video description so you can look them up. This specific model C Star at the helm, it's at HH5271. And back here at the stern, it's a HC5345. And this is a Mercury Pro XS 115. So what's the first step? Download the manual. First step is to download the manual. So that cap comes off of your stern and you can look down in this hole and you can see the helm here right behind the steering wheel and you can see the hydraulic disc and those should you should be able to see oil but I'm pretty sure that should be covered in oil. So I think we're definitely low. But that's how you check to see um, your, your fluid level, your hydraulic steering fluid level. Which is very inquisitive. Right. I figure we can take the bottom if yeah. we have any left, is the point. So, neither one of these allow you to twist it. They don't? No. So, I think it might be easier to put it on here first. I'll try to mess around a little bit earlier today. So, I'm going to spin this on to get us connected here. Twist it inside that little spin. Twist the jar. So the setup we have here is the tube screwing into the helm, hydraulic fluid screwed into the court here. And what we're gonna do is flip it over, poke a hole in the bottom of the uh, court to relieve the air pressure, the vacuum inside the bottle. And then we're gonna go through the bleeding procedure. So it says once we've got it hooked up, Turn the steering wheel clockwise until the cylinder rod is fully extended to the right side of the cylinder. So you turn the steering wheel clockwise this way until that is to the boat right side cylinder. So that's all the way exposed, the silver shaft there and the cylinder is pushed all the way to the right side like Mr. Chad did and all the while this is upside down and you can see it's feeding fluid into there all right so now we need to uh, open the right side bleeder cover right there okay Alright, so you got the crescent wrench. Uh, do you have another little hose? No, I was going to have you kind of hold that cup underneath if you could. You may need one of these rags though. Yeah. Okay, so, what we're going to do is I'm going to open this bleeder valve. 
just a little bit. I'm gonna hold this cylinder here still while your second person, this is a two-man job, starts turning the steering wheel clockwise or the other direction that it took you to get it in this position. So I'm gonna hold this while he's trying to turn the motor the other way. And air is gonna come out of this bleeder valve, which is what we're trying to get rid of. And whenever I start seeing a steady stream of air-free oil come out of this bleeder, flat, bleeder valve, I'm going to close it real quick and let him continue turning the steering wheel clockwise till it goes all the way to the other direction. Did I get that right? Yep, except for it's counterclockwise. Okay. <laughs> you got it all right with the direction. Scratch. Scared me to death. <laughs> Did it fart on you? Yeah. <laughs> it may fart on you a little bit. Yeah. If you start seeing fluid. It is fluid. Okay. Alright, hold on. So how I'm gonna open it up. We don't want to lose a lot of fluid, but we got the air out, so that's the good part. Right. So I'm gonna hold this. Do you wanna recapture any of that fluid or is it No, nah, let's go. Start spinning. If it's coming out of the lock, all right. A steady stream? Yeah. Okay, close it. Alright, so we had a steady stream. Closed it finger tight. Now I'm closing it good and tight. Don't want to put too much muscle on it or you strip the threads, but get it good and tight. Okay. Supposed to do the opposite now. So we'll go to the other side. We're gonna do it. It's probably gonna hit set you again. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get some. Okay. Steady string. Let me test it out. Okay. It's a lot better. So are you seeing any air bubbles up there? I just saw one come out. What does the instructions say? doing this. I mean I think you're about 80% better though. Yeah. Holding the cylinder body and rod. So we're gonna do it one more time. Starting with the right side. Okay. 
any better? Seems to be a little bit better. Let's go back to the other side and we'll part. Yeah, that's fine. We can do it on the side. Not over here. All right, good. All right, go. Well, hold on. Go. Right. Hold on, stop. You uh, see how well it does. It's a lot better. Good. And to top it off, we only used, uh, I can't tell until I turn it upside down, but I'd say maybe 20% of what's in here, 15 to 20% for this job. Good deal. And it was about one full rotation of the wheel loose. And now it's like, what, an eighth of a turn, maybe? And these bottles are expensive, so you don't want to uh, buy any more than you have to. Three bottles. Thanks for watching.